wanted to thank Sophie for joining us today. Today, our focus is on the technology sector. Um, and we're very lucky to have Sophie on board who has extensive experience um, in attracting, I guess, students into this field. Our WISE talks um, kind of originated as a result of the pandemic that we're going through. Our face-to-face -face activities have unfortunately um, been put on hold for the rest of the year. So we're hoping to still be able to connect our students with our um, professionals through our WISE talks virtual series. So it's, it's, an informal, um, it's an informal chat. Um, if anyone has any questions at any point, um, do feel free to ask them, but we will have a dedicated um, question and answer time. Sophie's the University Partnerships Manager at FDM Group. She has qualifications in communications, PR and careers education. She also did work with our university a while back. Um, and she is passionate about connecting people and maximising relationships between the tertiary education sector and corporate Australia. Thank you so much, Perrin. Um, it's, it's an absolute pleasure um, to be here today. Um, and I've got probably a slightly unconventional um, career story for you because I, um, I found myself working in IT. Um, but that's, um, I think, an important story to tell because a lot of us, um, as we get into our careers, um, we don't necessarily know where they're gonna lead. We have some initial ideas, uh, but then we find ourselves in weird places. And that's because we say yes to opportunities. We um, we make connections, uh, we, sit, we try out new things and we find ourselves. The insights that I gained from that, that I, I always wanna share with young people is when you look at my story, what I did is I went and I studied something that I thought I would be good at and, and enjoy, and I did. And then I found some work in a way that I could apply it. And then I went, oh, I really enjoy this work. I, I wanna study more. And I went and studied some more. And then I went, okay, this is really good. I'm going to apply it and I'm going to, I'm going to go back and work. Um, and then I, 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 I sort of came in and out of that and my pattern emerged. And I'm not by any stretch of the imagination putting this down as a template and saying, this is what you should do. You should study and work and study and work. What I'm suggesting is that your pattern and the way that you move through your career, it will emerge and you can't control it. And this is coming from a control freak. You can't, you can't control the exact trajectory. My advice to students these days in, in the workshops that I do is to try new things and then lean into strengths and passions. But the important part is you then need to repeat that. So you can't try new things once and then go, oh yeah, I'm good at that and I'll lean, I'll lean into that and then do it and then expect to be fulfilled because that's gonna lead to a dead end. That's gonna, the energy's gonna run out so I would always suggest try new things, lean into what you're good at, lean into what you enjoy, but then try new things again. One important thing today is I'm a really, really proud single mum and I also have a career. And I'm not saying that, that, that you can have it all, that's not my message. Um, but I, I am saying that I have zero regrets. Um, I've, I've given it a best shot. I knew that I wanted a career. I knew that I wanted kids. I didn't know what that looks like. You're never ever gonna know what that looks like. You just, do, you go and do. So I'm just here to tell you that you can. If you're out there and you want a career and you want kids and you don't know what that looks like, that's okay. I'm definitely older than all of you guys and, and my journey hasn't finished to the point where I've even taken a step today in my career that's something brand new and I'm going to go back to more study. What would you think would be too much to include into a resume or too much to bring up with an employer when it sometimes feels like it's not related to the job at hand? Um, <laughs> I would never I would never do away with the fine arts because I think that makes you uh, um, a well-rounded applicant and I think in the tech space we want to know that uh, it's, it's actually reassuring to know that there's your multi-dimensional 
Mm. Um, and so a computer scientist who has a fine arts bent or interest or passion is quite interesting. And so I would never do away with it out of your CV. Um, that being said, I would always recommend that you tailor your CV for the role that you're going for. So if the, if the role that you're going for is specifically tech and you're really going to lean on that computer science, part of you then that's going to come that's got to come first and foremost and you know up front yeah i'm in my final year of business in ict and i was wondering um in such a male dominated industry for ict literally i can go into a lecture and only see like how many girls in the palm of my hand i can count them with one hand if fdm or if you knew um if it land something where you can grow a bit and then lean in a different direction and add a bit and then lean into a different direction and add a bit. Um, and if you've already identified a few things that you're interested in, fantastic. And don't, if you end up taking a role that enhances A, don't drop B, um, still find a way to get involved in that, whether it's a side hobby or whether it's a side hustle.